founder and CEO of You're the Book Press and editor-in-chief of Self Pub Magazine. I'm psyched to be here in the studio today with author and photographer Vicki Fisher. Welcome, Vicki. Hi, it's great to be here. Oh, and Columbus has decided to join us for an alter cat cameo today. Well, that's perfect. My book is all about nature, and he must know that there is a cat photo in here <gasps> oh, because we're channeling cat today. Yes. His friend. Oh, look at that! <laughs> you are twins from separate mamas. You guys, no matter what is going <laughs> on in your life, there is something in nature, including cats, hmm. your pets, that can brighten your day. Well, that's the most social he's ever been on <laughs> film, so you better bookmark this video with Vicki and me in Columbus. <gasps> Tell us, how did you get the inspiration? Did the photos come first or the writings? Actually, I was raised in the country, and I really did not appreciate nature at all. Really? To me, nature was just work. You know, you had to weed, you had to <laughs> mow, you had to rake, feed animals, you know. It just, I did not appreciate it. And I live on a 19-acre little farm. Oh, so you still have plenty of nature. Yes. But until my husband died, I did not appreciate that either. And he died, and it was nature that brought me back to the love of nature. It was nature that healed me. And actually, it was one morning when I was so depressed that the, the sun rays just spoke to me, and I took the picture. And then after that is when I started writing hmm. about each photograph that I would take. And I'll drive down the road, and I'll see a tree, and it looked like it was drowning in the lake. And I was like, oh, but it's holding its head above water. Oh, is that not what we do? What we feel like <laughs> just about every day driving to work, right? So everyday life actually inspired me to write the book. So your books have some scriptural basis as well. Yes, each book has every page. It has a photograph, my inspirational sayings, and a Bible verse. So you could use it like a It's a diversion. Devotion. Yes. Absolutely. Um, so which one came first? This one came first. It is actually a smaller book. And the second one has a little prayer that starts each chapter, which I had not thought about to do in the prayer. first book. Okay, beautiful. Where can our viewers find your books? Um, Greetings and Readings in Timonium, um, TG Books in York, um, a few other bookstores around the area, Mystery Lovers in um, Pittsburgh. Oh, okay. So big shout out to our Pittsburgh friends. Yes. Um, also, online with your favorite online distributor. Okay, wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you.